All right, ladies, this is the video for numbering your measures. For all I want for Christmas is you. We do start out with the piano at the beginning. So you're just marking that one, two, make sure we're looking at those vertical lines. It does have a solo at the beginning. So we're gonna be looking for a soloist. It does have a solo. So we don't have a bold bracket to tell us where that solo is just because it's a vocal part by itself, but we still label, that says three, we still label our measures. And we can go to the next page. Circle the page number at the top. Oh, we left off on what? Six. So here we have seven, eight, nine, ten. If I'm going too fast, you just pause it so you can see what where I'm at. Circle the page number. 14. Now this is where it does have a bold bracket. Sorry, just move the camera a little bit. This is where it does have a bold bracket and we've got soprano and alto. Alto part is going to sing with the soprano sometimes. I actually do not want you to sing this little vocal part right there. So you can kind of X that out. How about we do this? Let's just label our measures for now, and then we'll go back and do the highlighting, since there's some alto parts that I kind of deleted out of here to make it a little more simple. So you've got 15 here, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay. So you're looking for that bold bracket and then you just label the measure numbers on top. Okay? Don't worry about highlighting this one. We will highlight it together since it is a little more on the complicated side. Alright, so that's your starter guide for numbering your measures for All I Want for Christmas is You.